An affidavit from the Cleveland Police Department paints a picture of a violent weekend 11 days ago that led to the murder of a man and a woman and the shooting of another woman. Christopher Roberson and Alfonso Johnson were charged with first degree murder for the deaths of James Ledford and Jacqueline Mark Cloud. Channel 3's Jake Chapman joins us in the studio. Jake, what other charges do they face? Greg, they face a number of charges, and Johnson faces a charge of attempted murder of Velma McKissick, and it appears the trouble began with a stolen motorcycle. A friend of one of the victims told me there was no reason for anyone to lose their life. I mean, it's a motorcycle. Come on. I mean, you can get a motorcycle. I'm pretty sure if he would, they would have told the family about what they were going to do, they could have went and bought him a brand new motorcycle. I mean, really? It's stupid. Nobody's life is worth a motorcycle. Shonda Perez is still in shock. Two people she knew are now gone. Who could do this and why? It was crazy. Perez says Ledford and she were close friends and there was no one like him. He's crazy, outgoing, always in a good mood. Just never know when he's going to show up when he does. He only does nothing but laugh. A police affidavit says a witness claims Roberson and Johnson were at his home off High Street. Ledford and Mark Cloud also stopped by. The witness went to the back of the home and went in a room with his children and heard gunshots. He says he came out several hours later and saw Johnson cleaning what appeared to be blood off the back door. The witness says Roberson bragged about killing Ledford. It's cold-hearted, I think. Ledford's body was found in a truck parked near Fort Hill Cemetery. And Mark Cloud's body was found two miles away two days later. Police say she had gunshot wounds to the head and neck. I don't understand why, why they had to mess with her too, though. That was just crazy. Now friends and family can rest easy. I just hope that justice is served. And, that it and I know they're going to find out. And I just want people to know that she was a human being. She's not just a news story. It's the only two people involved. No court dates have been set, and this is still a developing story. More information is, expect, is expected to be released in the near future. For now, I'm in the studio, Jake Chapman, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.